Are you into technical death metal? This band that I just reviewed, Apogean from Toronto, Canada, unbelievable. They are the pinnacle of technical death metal. Let's check out the review. You love getting new metal music before everyone else, don't you? In the next 60 seconds, I'll put you in command of a brand new metal album to show off. Plus, in the last 60 seconds, the diehard metal fans who stayed get a second album from my secret collection. FMR covers all the stuff that is here on the list. I review, analyze, and break down the newest extreme releases from my weekly chart so you get the best new metal here daily. Terry here again, guiding metal music guardians like you to the newest metal music. Cyber Restrictive by Apogean is the band's latest album. Up for a fresh full metal review. Let's break this one down. I open the band's app page and I see that there are 10 strong sounding tracks totaling 43 minutes. The album cover artwork, as you can see here, it is a multicolored cyber wasteland masterpiece with custom logo and standard font work. Of course, I was attracted to it right away thanks to the artist. So kudos to the artist. They classified themselves in Apple Music as death and black metal. Between that rating, the album artwork, the song titles, and a quick sound check, I'm going to visualize something heavy and beastly. My genre description before I saw before I start the review, rather, it's going to be technical death metal, but we'll see if that changes in the end during my actual reveal. Track one, it opens at a blistering pace, as expected, by the way. Right out of the gate, it was highlighted by some amazing steam hammer rhythms, fiery melodies, and piercing vocals in a massive technical death metal package with some blackened hue sprinkled in. I love this technical death stuff. Track two, it's a crusher with light speed percussion, stabbing rhythm guitar work, molten melodies, and of course the crocodilian vocals. This stuff is absolutely massive. Track three is a monster array of range, speed, power, and grunt. It has everything, all boxes ticked off. I love the hyper rhythms and the biting changes in this track. Next, track four, it's a V8 of massive speed, thunder, then silence, and then depth. Where these guys get their creativity, I don't know, shake my head, it's beyond me. Track five, it just doesn't let up with the energy and nuclear explosiveness. It has this hyper massive everything right through. The rest of the album, it, it was a blistering, rangy, energetic, and monstrous masterpiece of technical death metal. In summary, I think that this must be an incredible act to go and see live. The album is impeccably crafted from beginning to end. Recording and sound quality here, everybody, it's professional all the way through from top to bottom. The production and musicality was refined, in my opinion but it had some raw stuff in there too. I rate the overall levels of rhythm and tempo here as immense at a level nine intensity range, while the harmonies and melodies were also very immense. The scales from top to bottom, I put that at a level nine range of presence in this album too. Lyrical theme I find personally is it's got to be insanity wait till you see the, the 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 track listings becoming a mainstream or radio act here is definitely not a possibility so i think that fear not metal guardians and defenders i think that they belong to us forever a range flow and layout of this album is tight and the tracks are arranged tightly and meticulously i'm going to describe the vocals as beastly black and death metal fry range while the guitars I describe as intense scorchingly fast and strong the bass section is big thick slabs of of monster bass finally the drums and percussion performance was hyper range with excellent full sound 
Overall, the energy and intensity was through the roof immense. They remind me of Archspire and Blood Red and Throne and Exocrine, somewhere in that range. Uh, my AI, it says that just to be different, Beyond Creation and Insomnium. That comes from ChatGPT. I'm going to rate the temperature here as on the cooler side with a darker tonality feel, while the overall colors I personally describe as red and white heat. Uh, you'll, you'll see in a moment why I said red and white heat. The general feeling I had during this session was electric. It led me to give this album a seismic reading of 8.7. I'm going to enjoy this one actually on the road. I really do like listening to my car stereo. My predictions from earlier was technical death metal. My genre description officially during the reveal, it stands. The official bio says the same thing, technical death metal, which means I'm safe. And, and getting back to that red and white color, this band happens to be, when I open up the bio, they're from Toronto, Canada, the red and white. So my favorite tracks here were 1, 2, 3, and 10. And uh, number 10 actually had some really awesome, very creative melodies. And finally, yes, it's going into my library, number one with a bullet there. Lastly, stream them for yourself and find out what Apogean is like for you. That's it for another episode of FMR. I'm going to dig into my treasure chest and I'm going to recommend the album Semite Mentis by Spiritual Deception just for you. Just to say thanks for hanging out and a recap from yesterday. During episode 78, I reviewed Heraeth, the EP by The Wind Covenant, and I added Abominable Presence of Blight by Acrid Death from my secret stash at the end. Hey, and that's four albums in about seven minutes there. So check out that last episode, by the way, and for the full scoop and results on these two bands as well, stream them for yourself and see if they are for you. And... That comes to the end. Lastly, everybody, remember you have the power to support all metal artists. Stream them, engage them on social, buy the merch, see them live. And join me again soon for another episode of FMR. Please hit that subscribe button. Get your notifications of your new albums here first. Cheers, everybody, and happy Thursday.